basically how the heat pump works. Um, we've got a fantastic demo over, over here, uh, the actual internal gubbings. Keith Kembley is going to show us uh, how it works. We just had it actually recently on, on the one show in document you might see it in the future. <laughs> Uh, just a basic concept of how a heat pump works. Most of you probably know how that works already, but if you don't, you can see the, the, the internal gubbings of the heat pump in this area here, the condenser and evaporator. And this box in here is inside, and in the heat pump inside where our plant room is. And all it is is two heat exchangers here and here, which are the evaporator condenser. And inside of that, we have a refrigerant an R407, R410Ace, depending on, on what heat pump, heat pump, they do change from heat pump to heat pump. The ground collector here is, 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 is filled with a, a glycol mix, 30% mix, to a sort of 70% water mix. Uh, and once we're bringing that on, off the ground, hopefully above de zero degrees if the design's right consistently, we're coming into the evaporator, where we're evaporating that refrigerant into gas form for which we're then taking it into the compressor. And the compressor is the main act, is the main, main motor that you're actually paying for, main part of the bill that you actually get when it comes to paying for your, your overall heating. And once we have that compressor, we literally just squeeze the gas, just like a car tire, so it's, it's increasing the, the friction of the molecules and increasing that temperature. And we can get up to 120, 120 degrees out of that hot gas. When we then bring it into our condenser, which is our second heat exchanger, we're then transferring that heat onto our wet system, whether it be for heating or hot water. Uh, from then on, we're then, as it's brought through the process, as long as the heat's been taken away, uh, we're then bringing it back through an expansion valve. And expansion valve is actually a very important part on a heat pump. Uh, it de determines our flow of refrigerant through and helps to make the system as efficiently as it can, can be. Once we're expansion valve, basically taking the, the air back into our, our, our liquid form and we're processed just continuously flows. Obviously these two are, it's, it's a very straightforward. It was actually devised by a Glaswegian, um, Dr. Kelvin back in, I think it, back a long time ago. And it's just evolved from that. And the Swedes and the Scandies are really grabbing it and taking it forward uh, to, to some of the products you see today.